Hey, hey guys, Rod here from Jetboard Australia. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a board here today that's got an overheated exhaust. The uh, little uh, ball valve at the end is burnt out and the exhaust is discolored. So uh, we're gonna whip that out. We're gonna go through the exhausts and uh, how to repair the ball, what to look for in the exhaust systems, show you some older ones, get a bit of an idea what they're all about uh, and explain how the silencer system works and uh, show you how to clean the valve just with normal maintenance. So this one's all about exhaust. Um, we'll get stuck into it straight away. Okay guys, so here we go. So this is the exhaust out of that board we saw earlier. Uh, it's obviously had an overheating problem. You can see that for a couple of different reasons. One, uh, you can see that it's got, <laughs> it's got a big hole burn out in the valve in the end. And also you can see too here, see how there's, the pipe is discolored. So it's, um, it's more of a brown, uh, even lighter brown through there, so uh, that's definitely got hot. Uh, we'll compare that to, here's a brand new pipe. So they are side by side. And as you can see, that's got very, very hot. And uh, you can also see the valve is in, one, in good condition there. So um, that particular pipe is going to need some work. So first thing we're going to look at is obviously the valve. That's a mess, obviously with a hole in the side. And then we'll probably find in the back here, a little ball and spring will be damaged and uh, oh yeah yeah that's a mess as you can see that uh, that ball there is melted melted in the spring and uh, just give you an idea this is what it should look like so that's your uh, that's your new ball and spring so <laughs> it shouldn't be all melted like that so what happens with this little valve and how it works and we'll give you uh, a bit of an indication of, of uh, what it's all about so not sure if you can see it but there's a seal in the back there and obviously when you've got a good ball, the ball will seal against the spring with the spring holding pressure on the ball. So obviously when the exhaust gas comes out, the, uh, the ball uh, moves, compresses the spring, lets the exhaust gases out. But when you're stationary, obviously that ball pushes hard up against the seal, stops the water going with the exhaust. Now, obviously with a ball that's in poor condition like this one or, or dirty, what will happen is obviously the water will creep up through the exhaust and you'll find that your engine gets full of water very, very easily and very quickly. Um, so if you've got a board that uh, regularly gets water up the exhaust, you'll probably find that that ball is damaged. Uh, JetSurf recommend you should clean these sort of every you know, two or three rides. If you're using good quality oil, um, I reckon every three months or so, and all you do is pull it apart, clean the ball, clean the seal, clean the insides out, and then reassemble it again. This particular okay, so um, just to save confusion, I've got another board here. Uh, this valve's due to be clean, so we're going to pull this one apart and show you what it's all about. So uh, all you need is a three and a half mil Allen key. Undo the Allen key in the end, and then that valve just comes out. Just check the two O-rings when you do it. Make sure they're in one piece. They look fine. Don't drop the screw as I did. And from there, just take note of where this little cam is. See, it's an eccentric. See, it's wider there than it is there. This actually rotates around to get the alignment between the, the uh, exhaust and the ride plate right. These are all handmade, so there is some variance, and that takes up their variance. So uh, we unscrew this little end cap there, like that. And boom, the assembly comes apart. So what you've got is your spring that sits in that little collar there your eccentric ring, uh, your threaded ring, and then inside here is the ball. This one's not too bad. You can actually see there where it's been sitting on the seal, which is good. And then uh, we'll also have a look in there. The seal's up inside. That looks like it's in good condition. So we'll give this one a quick clean. So what I do is I use my, my magic Lanox spray, give the ball a bit of a hit. Up in the hole there, a bit of a squirt. Clean off the ball. That looks good. Let me sit there for the minute, if you'll stay there. Let me clean out in here, around the seal, any of the extra carbon and junk that's built up. This one's not too bad. I'll clean out. Another ball, another rub. So that's all good. The uh, spring's in good condition. The ball sits in there. Just be careful. Sometimes the ball will actually get down inside the spring and get stuck inside the spring. Um, 
Yeah, see how that goes in there? So make sure you put it around that way so the ball doesn't get stuck in the spring. If the ball gets stuck inside the spring, obviously it's not going to push against the seal. So that's no good. So and then in she goes. Put the eccentric ring and also when you put the eccentric ring on, make sure the, uh, the, the cavity is on the outside. So that's the inside and that's the outside there. That slips in there. So push the spring so it sits in place. And then we'll get the uh, retaining ring. Do that up. Just before it's tight. And you notice, see the wide sections here now. We wanted the wide section down near the bottom. And that's the way it sat beforehand. That in that position. That way, when we get the elbow, a little Allen key in there, it can sit into the road plate and then sit into the eccentric. We can play around with that and move that to a position where it's going to be going to fit right. That seems fine. Just put the Allen key in. Do this ring up here first. Make sure that it's tight first and then do up the Allen key and that pulls it in place. So That's sorted. That's all you need to do. Piece of cake. Okay, so another thing I was going to show you guys while we're at it uh, is these exhaust ends. Um, in a lot of cases, you can burn the exhaust end or damage the ball, and the rest of the pipe is okay. Uh, in this case, we're going to replace the pipe. But if you just need to replace the end, which is, is quite common, um, there's two, two ends you've got to look at. Obviously, the new ends that uh, are supplied by JetSurf now are the one with the two O-rings on it, and the older ones had the single O-ring on it. Uh, they're slightly different in the sense the ends and the threads and the ends are different, and I'll show you that just quickly now. So the, uh, the thread sizes are different. So if I take the one out of, out of here and put it in there, it's too big, and if I put that one in there, it's too small. So the reason I'm showing you this is uh, if you ever want to do an upgrade, to the exhaust silencer, which can be done. Just make sure that you have the valve with the two O-rings on it. The reason I say that is uh, the one with the uh, single O-ring, the thread is different. So to do the upgrade, if we replace that end with that one, which is fine, and we wanted to put the silencer on, we just simply unscrew the end, the ball and spring stays in there, and then this arrangement you can buy for myself or JetSurf, it's the silencer assembly. Now this one's a used one, obviously. So it's got a little key in the end, which we take out. And if you have a, uh, a cleaning or uh, you know, uh, doing a service on these, just make sure the O-rings are in good nick too. Um, they do deteriorate. So what this is, this is a, a, like a four part assembly. So what you have is your new end, which will screw into the, uh, the valve. It won't screw into the older style valves. So that's why I'm showing you this. Uh, then from there, you put in the eccentric, and that's designed to move around so that you can adjust the silencer to fit the, the ride plate correctly. Um, then it has a retaining ring, which goes onto there, like that. And then, of course, the silencer screws on like that. And then you can, you can put the silencer on there. Now, the next part to that is, and this is something you, you, you may do or may not do, you can upgrade the, the ride plate under the board for this to slide into. So all the new model boards, the silencer goes in and into the ride plate on the back of the board. You can just put this in place and, and face the exhaust into the jet pump cavity. That quietens it up quite a bit anyway. Um, that's probably the simplest way to uh, make your board quieter without going to too much trouble. So that's a bit of an idea what that's all about as well. So, okay, so obviously uh, this hole in the side of the, uh, the valve is where the problem lies. So what will happen is, is obviously there's a blockage in the cooling system somewhere. Uh, it's overheated the exhaust and obviously melted the valve. What happens is, is when that valve melts, exhaust gases um, are allowed to enter the board in a cavity around the engine. So when the board gets that, um, exhaust gas 
into the engine compartment. What it does is it chokes up the, uh, the engine with exhaust gas and the engine starts to run badly to a point where often they'll stall. So it's kind of handy that these melt because that's obviously the first indication you've got an overheating problem. Often you'll find that Telltale is running very, very cleanly, um, but it's actually blocked and you'll see in this little tube here. So what I do to, to is uh, I get myself a little um, a two millimeter drill oil, drill bit, and uh, I'll grab one now. So what I do is I get a little two, two millimeter drill bit and I put it down through the hole and yeah, you can feel that there was a bit of resistance there when I did that. And yeah, you can see the, the muck coming up back through there. So this is what's happened to this pipe. It's actually built up um, corrosion in that little fitting. Um, if you've seen the cooling system, that the cooling system comes into the cylinder. Uh, it runs from the cylinder into the exhaust. So what will happen is the, the engine will be cooled quite successfully and water will be coming out of your telltale, but obviously the water coming from the cooling line into the exhaust uh, has a partial blockage there and, uh, and that's, uh, that's cleaned it out. So that's what's caused this pipe to get that colour. The other thing you've got to look at when you're looking at the pipes too, you'll notice here that um, you can start to see some corrosion coming out the bottom of the pipe. Um, I have wiped this off, but there was a, a, like a trail of uh, corrosion coming down that side of the pipe. So this is actually leaking through there. So what happens is, is when these pipes get hot, there's two big O-rings, big square O-rings either end. They will melt and then the uh, exhaust will start to seep or even the water, cooling water will start to seep out of the pipe. Uh, and that's what's been happening with this one. So in this case, we'll probably replace the complete unit. It's, uh, it's a mess. Um, you can even see here, you can see from the heat, it started to get out of shape there on the, on the tube, so uh, that's not ideal. Um, I have got another pipe here, I'll show you two out of an earlier model. Um, it's two different tiles pipes. You've got the, the one with the O-ring flange and the, uh, the two spring um, retainers that hold it onto the cylinder. And then there's the older style pipe, which is like this. And it just has, uh, rather than O-rings, it just has like a, what I call a gum that just sits in there uh, and then the, uh, the, the engine exhaust port slides into that. Um, these gums, that's another thing that happens and if you've got one of these style exhausts, these will melt and deteriorate. That one's not looking 100% either. Uh, the other thing is, and this is why this pipe's been, been replaced, is this, uh, obviously it's leaking at the back of the other one, but you can listen, she's rattling inside. What, what these pipes have inside, in the tube there, and it'll be very difficult to see from the camera, there's a tube that runs up to the inside of the pipe. It comes to about there, and then it's got a baffling system inside it. They actually corrode off and break inside. So one, it starts to block up the pipe with uh, aluminium and, and, and you know, garbage from inside the exhaust. And two, it changes the tune. That particular uh, length on that uh, tube inside gives you the the engine a particular tune as far as producing power in a different rev range. So when it starts breaking off, you start to lose engine performance and obviously the bits of uh, aluminium that are floating around the side um, tend to break down. The, uh, the good news is though all the new pipes, and here's another example here, the new pipes all have a stainless steel centre that runs up through them, so they don't have that problem, they don't corrode. Uh, and they don't break off, so uh, the new ones uh, are much improved as far as that's concerned. So that's really good. So this board we're working on is going to get a brand new exhaust. Uh, we're going to fit that up. Um, I do have a video that explains how the exhaust comes out. Uh, I'll put that in the, um, in the links and also in the description so you can find that quite easily. And what you want to do, obviously, to reassemble this exhaust, uh, you leave the end as it sits, as it comes, and we put the, uh, the silencer set up on that once it's in the board. Uh, you can't physically slide this, this big end through the board, so that's all got to come off uh, so you can get it through the board. So we leave that off. So what we'll do, we'll get that into the board, get that back running again for the customer, and uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea uh, what our exhaust system's all about. Alrighty, well, that board's all sorted out now. We've put a brand new exhaust in it. It's cooling properly. We gave it a test run on the hose and it's all happy. So we'll get that back to the customer. So again, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my site and I can make some more videos just like this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.